Well, I suppose I really started coming here about 17 years ago when my son, our first child, was quite young. We used to come to the mother and toddler group here every Thursday morning. And so that's how we would have started using the library. And then we would have had cards, taken out books for them when they were young, which is really important because you can go through so many books when your children are young. And then, of course, I started borrowing myself. And now we all still borrow, and I borrow from my mother and my aunt as well. So, um, and I have come to talks here, and I'm a member of the reading group as well. I think the library, I think it's a real, really strong part of the community. It's a great facility for people of all ages, all backgrounds, everybody can join the library. I think it's a, a great bonus to any library, yeah, to have a, to, you know, um, extend that kind of sense of community and sense of gathering. That it's not, as I said, borrowing books is quite a solitary thing to do. Obviously the librarians will share with you their knowledge and, you know, their love of, of books. So to have different ways people can actually gather together is, is very important. I think it's not just a place where you borrow books now, obviously you can borrow DVDs, hopefully soon digital books as well. I know people come in and use computers, read, you know, newspapers, magazines. And I think, as I said, it's very important. I mean, people use it in so many different ways. Sometimes people come to print off their boarding cards, things like that, or to access the internet. So it's like it's if it's a source of knowledge. Um, Liz here in Pembroke Library organises a lot of talks as well and different events. And I've been to concerts in Pierce Street Library, different libraries as well. I think the best thing about library is that they're free to everybody who lives in the community. Um, so it's a very important resource that everybody can avail of. Um, and for me, I suppose the reading group has been very enriching because when you read with a group of people, you're reading knowing that you're going to have to discuss it. So you do pay a bit more attention and you get a lot more out of books. And it's always interesting to hear other people's opinions about books. Yeah, I think one of my favorite books is Dubliners by James Joyce, which is a collection of short stories. I really enjoyed it. I have a copy at home now. And every year on the 6th of January, I like to take out the dead, the story that's set on the 6th of January and to read that. It's a huge resource from the earliest age. We would have started coming to the mother and toddler group. I would have come with both my children. So not only do the children get to read books, but you get to meet other parents as well, of young children, which is great at that stage. That's a great backup. And then my daughter for years, she used to do art here on a Saturday afternoon, which was brilliant. And so when our children were doing the art, the mothers used to go for coffee. So we had a lot of friends as well, actually, and still in touch with some of them. One woman in Australia, another woman here locally. You know, so, um, They've been, they've been amazing for us as a family, and our children, they still would borrow books. I think that the, the, the libraries are used in a lot more ways now than they used to be. When I was young, you'd go to the library with your little paper tickets, and you had to be quiet, and you know, it was very, very different. Yeah, I mean, sometimes we can all end up with a lot of books, so I think it's great that you can borrow a book. If you w want to have it on your shelf, you can buy it afterwards. And the authors still get, you know, their little bit of commission from when, every time you borrow a book. So I think everybody kind of wins. Sometimes I might borrow a book to see if I do like it, maybe a hardback book, maybe a cookery book, maybe you know some sort of reference book. I'll try it here and then if I really want to have it at home, I, I will buy it. But it allows you to read a lot of books without ending up with the shelves groaning too much because you know, it can be very overwhelming. So years ago, I, I worked abroad in Spain. And before I went to Spain, I learned Spanish in the central library using the old headphones, and it was amazing. You know, it, that was a great way to use the libraries as well. Otherwise, for me here, as I said, it's mainly borrowing books, the reading group, um, going to talks, different things like that.